So I want to talk a little bit about different types of hammer drills and what you need for drilling holes for feathers and wedges. Um, there's three types of drills here. There's a fourth one that I'll talk about that I don't have here. Um, this is a what I call like a carpentry hammer drill. It has a vibratory action, but it's basically just an electric drill. It has your standard round chuck in it. And um, this will drill like an eighth or maybe a quarter inch hole in a concrete block. It won't drill in granite and especially not something like a half inch hole. It just won't work. So that's not going to do anything for you. The next step up is called an SDS type drill. And this is an SDS drill. Um, an SDS bit looks like that. It's got two, two grooves and then two pockets in it. And the nice thing about the SDS drills is that they're light and small. The bits are pretty inexpensive. Uh, I get them at a discount tool place for about three or four bucks for these half inch ones. Um, a lot of the SDS drills have different modes. So this one can be in drill only mode, hammer drill mode, or hammer only mode where it doesn't turn. So that's really handy. This drill has a nice feature that it's got a pretty visible spring there. So you can tell how hard you want to push on it. And this particular drill also, if you're using lots of different applications, it comes with an alternate chuck so that you can go to a regular drill bit for carpentry or other applications. Um, new that's in the three to $400 range, typically a drill like that. Um, and I recommend having a good name brand, but I'm not partial to one brand over another. Um, this drill is a purpose built masonry hammer drill. Um, it has two modes, hammer and drill or hammer only. Um, and a hammer only is good if you, you can get tips for this. I have a, a chisel tip, I have a bushing hammer tip. You can do all different things like this as a, as a hammer, essentially, depending on the type of stone that you're using. Um, this doesn't have reverse, it's just a hammer drill. Um, when you're looking at the hammer drills, there's two things, a couple of, couple of things to pay attention to. One is the amps. How many amps does it use? This little drill is a six amp drill. This is an eight amp drill. This is a 10 amp drill. The higher the amps, the more power that drill is gonna have. Um, most residential circuits are 15 amp circuit. Don't get a drill that's up 15 or more amps because then you're gonna have trouble being able to plug it in. Um, think about um, one of the key factors is how much throw does the bit have as it's vibrating? You can see if you get close, this one has about half an inch or so, and you want that much throw. You want a good amount of, of banging ability. You can see this one, more, almost probably three quarters of an inch or better, up and down. Um, the more throw you have there, the faster it's gonna be able to drill. Another factor is how fast does the drill bit rotate? And we actually prefer a slower rotation speed because then the bits won't heat up as fast. So this drill has a greater throw and a much lower rotation speed, higher amps, and it drills much faster than this one does. Um, however, depending on how much you're doing, you know, this drill, uh, a drill like this new is in the six to $800 range. So it's about, it's close to double what a drill like this is. And this works fine. In granite like this, drilling a hole for these half inch feather and wedges, probably around 30 to 40 seconds. This drill, around 20 seconds. So if you're doing a lot, it really adds up. The other big difference is that because a drill like this has a slower rotation speed, you don't tend to burn up your bits as fast. Um, this is called a spline drive drill. They're a little bit less common now, but the end of the drill bit looks like that. It's got a spline shaft. These bits are a fair bit more expensive. Full list price is probably close to $30 for a bit. Um, I get them at a discount store, usually more for like 10 or 15. Um, a lot of people ask what brand is the best bit. I don't notice a big difference. I usually buy whatever's reasonably inexpensive. Um, the key to keeping the bit 
lasting a long time is how you use it more than anything else. Um, in between these two, there's a class of drill called SDS Max. Um, SDS, SDS Plus, both are this the same style bit. SDS Max is a heavier duty drill. It's gonna be more like this type of drill, but it's a different bit style connection, and those are fine too. There's also, um, now you can get these drills uh, as a battery uh, operated drills with like the 20 or 60 volt batteries. Um, they work great. In some cases, they drill just as fast, if not faster. Um, so if you're working in remote applications, they actually hold up really well now. Those drills though, with the batteries are looking at, at $1,000 or more for a good battery drill. Let's take a look at some of the bits here that we've got. Looking first at these SDS bits. I've got half inch, five eighths. This is a bit in good condition. It's actually a brand new bit. It's got the carbide insert there. Um, everything looks good about that bit. Here's a bit that's been used and it got too hot. And you can see that by the coloring. That means it got too hot and the carbide fell out. That means in this case, the carbide's down at the bottom of the hole. You're not gonna be able to drill that hole anymore. Um, this happens from pushing on the drill too hard. If you're bearing down on the drill, as that drill is vibrating and trying to bounce back up, you're pushing it into the stone. So it's just grinding into the stone. It can't hop off the stone to turn and the bit's gonna overheat. So again, it's usually just enough pressure to hold the drill steady and have the vibratory action working. Um, but, but very little pressure beyond the weight of the drill itself. Here's another bit, this is a 5 eighths. Uh, again, carbide's fallen out. Here's an example of a bit that's failing. It hasn't failed yet. It's very colored there, you can see that. Um, the carbide is actually starting to crack away from the rest of the steel. Um, this bit, probably again from pushing hard, but you can see how high the discolorings happened. I suspect also this wasn't being held steady in the hole, so it was rubbing a lot on the side of the hole and that was also generating a lot of heat. So this bit's about to fail. Looking at these bigger bits, uh, these are the spline shafted bits. Now, you'll notice a lot of these used ones look black, that's grease. We do put grease on this, on this with the spline shafted bits. That's important, otherwise the, the back end will wear out. And you wanna make sure that you keep that back end clean so that you don't want grit and all that in, in there. Some bits come four-sided like this. That's reminiscent of the old star drills. Um, some are a single blade. I honestly generally don't notice much difference in terms of the performance. Um, in some types of stone, these might drill a little bit faster perhaps, um, but I haven't noticed a dramatic difference in what, I, what I've seen. Um, what happens a lot is people don't realize they're like oh it's it's not drilling as fast and they just keep pushing and they keep pushing and you end up with a bit like this this had carbide in it but it broke out and they kept pushing and they kept pushing and you can see the notch where the carbide was supposed to go is completely obliterated at this point this has probably continued to be drilled and pushed on for probably 10 to 15 minutes after the carbide came out it's not gonna drill uh, this bit, the carbide got hot, again, probably from pushing, and there's still a little bit of carbide there, but it basically, this bit has failed. Um, with the bigger class of drill, we get into some other attachments as well that you can see. This is a bushing point, uh, a chisel tip, and this is a clay spade for very, very compacted soil or very soft rock. Um, and in some applications, those are very effective. In a lot of dry stone walling applications, I don't, you get into that much. It's much more uh, specialty masonry or stone fabrication type applications, but they're handy to have in, in your toolbox. Uh, so that's a little bit about talking about drill bits themselves.